Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm John. This is Minnie, a true nerd, and welcome back to Vampire, where last time we got well acquainted with everyone in the hospital, and I decided one person was worth potentially killing. Also, I hadn't really noticed I've got really vampire eyes up to this point. How does nobody know I'm a vampire? My eyes look really vampire and red and bloodshot, but okay, whatever. Yes, last time we were told to find a plot against another vampire and find out who our blackmailer was. So we went and followed one of the nurses, trying to figure out like if a man had been visiting her, and she handed a note over to a thug who went into some sewers, and in the sewers, the thug was eaten by a werewolf. So now we're going to go to the place where the nurse told him to go, but he didn't go, because he was eaten by a we- I'm not quite sure how this all fits together, but we're gonna figure it out today, ladies and gentlemen, as we head into the dangerous territory of Whitechapel. But, before we head there, I've actually got myself a big old pile of XP because I've completed a quest, so... How about we just nip up back to my apartment, and apparently I don't care about just teleporting around, and also... The flowers how die. do I water you? Water. I want to water you! Ah, other fun thing I just realised, something useful I did pick up. Apparently the common barbed cudgel I picked up previously was in fact, yeah, more powerful than the scythe and does basically the same thing. It does some stunning and does have the weapon ability of parry, so same as the scythe. So, go over to that whenever need be. And as for Clay's hatchet, that is not very good at all. Fine. The sword, however, remains quite good for the time being. Though actually, I do like Mistake... And I do actually have plenty of ability to upgrade that, so go on. Upgrade that to level 2, and then decrease stamina consumption, or make it add... Oh yeah, just make it stun as much as possible. So my basic common state now does like nearly twice as much stun as it used to do, which is very, very bloody useful. So I'm glad we've done that at least. First up, time to get myself some sleep, because I've actually got some skill points to spend. Now, coagulation... I quite enjoyed that. Now, how exactly does that work? So, two seconds of them basically being defenceless versus three seconds. And that's very expensive to start getting up. And then we actually get up to... Ah, so either I can make it also give me blood in return, or I can make it... Oh, wow. Yeah, that's definitely the way I'd like that to go. Up to flipping ten seconds of completely flipping defenceless. Nice. Or I could straight up make blood spit... Oh, no. No, I can't. I don't think I physically can. I think I don't have enough to make it happen. No. So while I would love Blood Spear, yeah, these things start getting expensive very, very bloody quickly. Now, biting seems pretty cheap. I could do three times more damage with biting right now for less than a thousand. Yeah, go on. Let's get biting up to level three. So now I'm actually doing some real damage with biting. That's pretty good. If I actually I can get up to level four. Yeah, go on. Why not? So now I am much, much better at biting people. That seems pretty darn good. And that also gets me up to level 10. Now, does that mean at some point I can get my... Yeah, right now my mesmerized level remains at level 1. Need to figure out how to get that up, because I assume that would just be passively happening, but not just yet. But also on the way out, apparently very close by to where I am right now, 34 meters or so in this direction... Who exactly is supposed to be spying on Thelma, the woman who thinks she's a vampire, but actually isn't? Well, there's some people up top over here. Hello. Might it be you based on the map? It could be you, you know. Right. Ah. Yes, indeed. Vampire hunters. Well, Time to get up there and sort out whatever her problem is exactly, because they are potentially actually genuinely keeping an eye on her in the back door. Now, time to track down you bastards, because you're level 6. Meaning, actually, I should be able to handle you guys pretty well. Though, before we do that, help myself to... Ooh, watch! That springs! <laughs> Bloody hell, I really am playing Fallout 4. Right, okay. Who's here? It's you guys. Right. Go, 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 go. And go in, go in. And one of you's dead already. Back off, back off, back off. In which case, just... I'd say we're just going to hold you still. There you go. That'll do the job there. So, were you actually deciding to spy on her? And yes, indeed, they were watching her. So, just because you're paranoid doesn't mean they're not after you. 
Luckily, we have indeed killed the vampire hunters, which feels like an odd thing to do. Like, you know, I'm not pro-vampire. Like, I am anti-99% of vampires. <laughs> Some vampires are okay, but there are lots of real feral vampires running around causing trouble. Like, me and these guys should be working together. Like, the proper vampires probably want the ferals out of the way just as much as the vampire hunters do. Ah, and absolutely flipping perfect, now it would appear that, yes indeed, the actual uh, local command post for the guard of Pruin is right actually in Whitechapel, where I'm going anyway in order to go and investigate the black male in Whitechapel, spot on. So go on then, let's see what we got over here. Any chance I can teleport up to some of you? Yeah, oh. Right, this district is in serious trouble. So if I murder too many of the wrong people here- Oh, blimey! Level 18 and resistant to my most powerful blood magics. Alright. I've got to be a little bit careful in this part of the world because some of these guys are high level and dangerous. Watch out for level 11. Bit dangerous, but nothing too dangerous there. This looks like the building right up here. Okay. Just got to work my way. Oh, there's a level 12 there as well. Okay, well, I can teleport up here. Here we go. Do you want to go and bang on that door again? Because that would just be absolutely perfect. So lock onto you and wait, 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 wait. Dive in, dive in, dive in, dive in, dive in, dive in, dive in. Oh, stun! Okay, good. And now bite him. How much damage does this do? And the answer is... Oh, quite a flipping bit now. Yeah, and then back off, back off. Okay, go, go. Oh, what was that? I don't know what that was exactly, but it seems kind of okay. Right, okay, prepare a blood spear. There we go, that does good work. And if they line up, that works for me. Another one, another one, another one, another one, another one. I don't have the blood. Okay, and go, go, go. Watch out. Go for a stun. That was the wrong guy. Okay, he is going to be... Okay, you tossed a bomb or something. Now that guy is apparently... Go and bite him. Get the blood back, get the blood back, get the blood back. Oh, that does loads of beautiful damage now. Right, and watch out for your bombs or whatever. Right, no. Go. Go. Oh, yeah. That does so much stun. I'm loving the stun. Right, finish you off. Go. Go. And dead. So, got myself a destination I can teleport to. And there's blood around here. Right, if you spot one, fire. Who's around here? An executioner. A fire executioner, specifically. Now, call me nuts, but that is exactly the sort of person I do not want to go near. I'm aware I'm very, very weak to fire. Right, if I drop down over- Oh! Hello! Sorry, I didn't actually mean to interrupt, but apparently I, I just have. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Few of them to be killed here, mind. Now you're o flat level 16. Okay, what about the rest? It's 17. Hmm. Maybe just one more bit of healing there. If I use all my abilities together, I can probably pull this off. But blimey, this is where I start really wishing I'd potentially killed all of the innocents. Still, let's see if we can make it work. If I can just stagger him well enough, we might be alright. There we go. Okay, that works. Oh, there's way more of you than I was expecting, actually. Go, no, go. Right, bite him. Get myself the blood. You seem to be invincible when all that's happening. Right, okay, and go. Lock on to somebody first. Actually, you know what? They're not too bad, even though they're high level. They're actually, it doesn't seem that difficult to do. Okay, stay away from you. Right, stay away from you. And blood thing. That works pretty well. Stay away. Back off, back off. Uh, blood now. Oh dear. Blood now. And freeze him. No. Get him down immediately. Right, go. Get myself some health back. And dive, and back, and dive, and dive. Come on, bite him. Ooh, they hit hard. They don't have that much more health, but they hit really hard when they're the high levels. Ouch. Now, steal the reports that lead to the Pembroke Hospital in order to get them off the back of the hospital. And, like, you know, kill all of them at the same time. Maybe don't kill all of them, but it doesn't really seem to matter if you kill vampire hunters. We're kind of on the same side, lads, I promise. Just got to be a little bit careful around here. There's a level 17 rookie, but if he's on his own, 
Shouldn't be too difficult to do. And go! And then going for a dagger. No, back off, back off, back off. If you're going to come at me swinging, then I guess we're just going to keep you busy. Grab him, give him a bite, and then once he's down the ground, that should do good work. And then back off, and then going for another spear. Nice. Very, very nice indeed. And here we go, the report for Pembroke. Very, very nice. So, got myself some good stuff there in terms of quest progress, but one other thing I picked up as well. Yeah, the actual stakes. So this thing is 15 stun by default. Users, yeah, it's exactly the same. Tiny bit more stamina usage, actually, but it's 15. This was 10 up to 18 with upgrades. This is 15 default. So potentially, I might be able to, yeah, get way more stun out of that old girl. Also, I'd like some more blood, please. And just eating rats is a good way to get that done without actually murdering people. That's the building over there, by the way. You are... Oh, you're a level 10. Oh, I'm so sorry. And go and just do some damage. Right, back away, back away, back away. And this is a good time for a blood spear to hit both of you. Lovely. And you're not even that high a level. Back away, back away, back away, and blood spear hits both of you guys, and go, go, you just died instantly, and excuse me, no, no, get some blood in, need to do some healing after this, that should put him into a good position to be killed, and that guy goes down, Roger is the wall apparently, ouch, oh yeah, he's super resistant to everything that's not, excuse me, no, no, I think you're holding still at... Hold still. Hold him still. Thank you. Oh, he's super resistant. Yes. Uh, you know what? Hit him with the blood spear. He's not so resistant to that. And then just finish him off. Okay. Got to pay attention to the resistances. They do matter. Yes. Who's that speaking? Fuck you all. Fuck it all. Stop it now, Albert. Stop it. Right, there's some violence going on over there. No need for me to get involved in that, potentially. Though I could go and have a look see Did one of you just shoot the other? Did you just get shot by your friend? Is is that what just happened? Are you both okay? The wet boots will be proud of me. Are you alright? The bastard at the wall next to me. I don't even know if he meant to miss. If you've been hurt, I can help you. I'm a doctor. Name's Albert. Remember it. Now bugger off. Right, this gang is just generally not a nice group of people. Though, fun fact, I could mesmerise you. Right, let's just check what you've got on you. You're suffering from fatigue right now, so I can improve your blood quality quite significantly. Any chance you can actually tell me about who I'm looking for? Do you know Nurse Dorothy Crane from the Pembroke Hospital? If you know anything about her, I'd appreciate it. Never heard of her. She's pretty, I'll keep an eye out. Right, nothing particularly of interest from him then. So this guy's just stuck here, and this chappy shot him, or tried, or failed. Right, me and you need to have a chat. What? Shooting a boy in the middle of the street. Not the best thing to do, wouldn't you say? What? You saw what happened. Who are you? I'm Dr. Reed, and I'd like to ask you a few questions, if... You promised me to set your gun aside. No. Look, I I'm not a violent man. I'm Benjamin Palmer, doctor. And no one can help me. Not even you. Okay, this is interesting. And I could mesmerise him as well. Well, let's learn about your story. One of these two guys might be a good source of XP if either of them's a very nasty piece of work. Do you know Nurse Dorothy Crane from the Pembroke Hospital? Have you heard anything? It's funny, I've been searching for it too. I need some pills. But the woman is a phantom, if you ask me. Really? And why is that? Word is she ain't real. She's a cover for some doctor who runs an illegal dispensary for migrants. Oh. Okay. So what's going on is starting to make a bit more sense. She's basically taking medicine from the hospital and handing it out to people who, for whatever reason, wouldn't normally have access to it. Not exactly wrong, but it would have been nice if she'd been upfront about it. Whatever the boy did, I'm sure he didn't deserve a public execution. 
I swear I didn't want to hit him. It's just that I'm sick in the end, you see, and the boy just, just frayed me last nerve. Hmm. Right. This guy does not seem like a good sort of person. What can we learn about you? Suffering from a migraine. So if we could sort that out for him, he could be an excellent source of some XP. And yeah, what about the war, my good man? What is it, Benjamin? It was the war, wasn't it? Your nerves are shot, aren't they? I need some answers, Private. From one soldier to another. The doctors called me a liar. A coward. Put me in a straight jacket, locked me up. Finally, they sent me back to the front lines with a handful of tablets. Oh. Okay, I'm not going to kill and eat him anymore because I feel bad because he's just, yeah, 1918. He's suffering from shell shock or similar to that. Ouch. Yes. Sounds like shell shock. I've seen a few cases like yours. This is nothing you should be ashamed of, Benjamin. And it's perfectly natural in your situation. Not ashamed. I just need my pills. Peace and quiet, that's all. Right. So, we need to get him some migraine medication, apparently. Right, I would definitely like to get him that. And then not kill him, because I feel bad for him. Hello. Who are you, random woman in the street? I don't trust you. You strike me as a charlatan. Good evening, miss. Good evening, sir. Are you interested in a miraculous cure for this unknown and deadly epidemic? Actually, I am. Then you have come to the right place. The famous Swanborough Cordial is all you need to help keep you in perfect health. Oh, really? Why didn't I hear about it during my studies? I'm Jonathan Reed, by the way. Doctor Jonathan Reed. Ah, my brother has spoken of your research, sir. I'm Loretta Swanborough, and it's always a pleasure to meet a fellow healer. All right. She actually, you know, didn't panic there. That's certainly of interest. And she's... Oh. Okay. If she does turn out to be a quack who's flogging people fake medicine, that's a lot of XP to be had. Potentially, yes. Ah, oh, no, this is interesting. If I ask her if there's anyone to be avoided... Cadogan Bates, without a doubt. The bloody bastard remorselessly exploits poor migrants as soon as they get here. So, whoever that is, that might be a good candidate for some eating. Now, let's not kill her just yet, though, because she is a shop that sells all sorts of rare things I might find very useful indeed. Lovely. And according to my map, yeah, and conveniently there's a whole bunch of rats and whatever. Somewhere around here, we should have ourselves safe house. Oh, tragically, I don't actually know the cure for a migraine yet. I totally would have gone and healed that guy just because I felt sorry for him. Because, yeah, shell shock was, was awful. And very often, yeah, not properly recognised. And people who were suffering from a horrendous condition were, were written off as cowards and whatever. But no, tragically, I cannot. Right, well, a quick break there. Let's have a little look, see what we got going on around here. And shut up, I know about your cordial, I'll come back and deal with you later. Oh, this has got to be it. This doorway in here. We got ourselves unknowns. Ah, we got ourselves people. I cannot enter. Not from this side, though. We've got to find another way in. Let's have a little loopsy round here. Is this the door you want me to use? Yep, here we go. In we go. So, Petrescu. What? What do you want? Leave me alone. Good evening, sir. I'm Dr. Reed. I'm looking for Nurse Dorothy Crane. There is no Dorothy Crane here. Now, goodbye. I'm afraid this medical leaflet says the opposite, sir. Really? Well, I'm afraid I'm going to close this door right now. Go bother someone else, Mr. Doctor. To enter that house, I must discover who this man really is. Maybe I could start by observing what he's up to. All right, bronchitis, and some observation. Here we go, this is the spot to observe him from then. So if I'm just right here, this should be the right spot. The strange man was at the door with the pass for our medical facility. I refused him entry. Darius, how could you know he didn't need our help? His clothes were too finely tailored to be for Whitechapel. Perhaps just a friend of that stray poet who is always about. 
splits at Nidacott. No, not of the same cloth, this man. I suspect some machination from that journalist. Clayton Darby? Is he still asking questions? Yes. I saw him drifting around St. Mary's Church. I swear he is tracking me just downwind. All right. So, a bit of information there. I must talk to that journalist or the poet. They must know about Darius. Nearby the church they just mentioned. All right, so rather than confronting him directly, now we've got new speech options with people who are floating around elsewhere. So, find the inhabitants. Find ourselves a poet and a journalist. Right, round the corner from the safe house and... Who are you? Okay. There's a couple of people round here who we may or may not be interested in. My target is Clayton. Okay, Clayton is somewhere around here. Any chance you know who Clayton is? Excuse me, sir. Another journalist? I didn't answer the first one, so piss off! I'm not a journalist, I'm a doctor. A doctor, you say? It's quite a rare breed in this part of town. So this man here most definitely has seen a journalist recently. And the fun thing, of course, is, until I've actually spoken to someone for the first time, I don't know who they are. Oh, please, I don't have your money. Come on, Barrett, you know the game, you pay for peace of mind. Can't you just look the other way this week, Joe? Come on, we can sort it out, right? It's not my call, Barrett. You pay one way or another. Please, Joe. How long have we known each other? We even used to be neighbours, for Christ's sake. Right, this Joe chappy might have to come to a sticky end, potentially, because he's not impressing me right now. So, thing we know, the target we're actually looking for is somewhere around these parts. Soon the time will come when you will all be judged for your sins. Even now, he judges your words and actions. Okay, you seem like you're trying to draw attention to yourself, my good sir. Father Tobias Whitaker is always happy to teach mortals about the incoming Armageddon. I am Dr. Jonathan Reed, and I just have a few questions. A scientist? You are much more lost than I thought, my son. Okay, I don't like this guy. Sadly, I can't kill him immediately, but... Oh, no. No, he's very, very resistant to being mesmerised. Ah, but the other guy who was actually looking at the church door, we found ourselves Mr. Clayton Darby. Lovely. Now, why exactly were you floating around, my good man? What is a journalist doing in this borough after sunset? He goes where none of his colleagues would dare to go, to inform the country. Okay, fine. So you're just writing a story about the epidemic. So let's get to the point here. What do you know about Nurse Crane's little underground medical dispensary? Not much, I'm afraid. They are weary of strangers, and I'm not really an acquaintance of theirs. Why do you care? Honestly, I'm not quite 100% sure. There's a really complicated series of blackmail plots going on, but I'm not quite convinced I see how they all fit together. I'm afraid one of the nurses from the Pembroke Hospital may be involved with unsavoury activities. Ah, could it be Dorothy Crane? Without a doubt, you are a damn fine journalist, Mr. Darby. What do you know of her accomplice, a man named Darius? I don't know much about the man. He's very cautious, never goes out, doesn't seem to have any friends or family. Except for that strange man, a poet named Richard Nithercott, who sometimes comes by. Darius would never let him in. Where can I find this Mr. Nithercott? He spends most of his time lurking around Whitechapel, talking to himself or declaring verses. These days, you can usually find him behind the church. All right, should be pretty easy to locate him. He went to the nearest mailbox, but just before posting his letter, he ripped it up and threw it away. Okay, so we got ourselves a new little thing to investigate around here. Just keep an eye out for... Oh! Okay, bad things around the back here. Swords out, lock onto you. Dive in, and you are not that bad. Right, back away, and that should hit at least... Two of them. And go, 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 go. And go, go. Screw you. You you just completely missed me. Go away. Back off, back off. I'm a little bit hurt here. Right, dive in. 
that just works as a good... Yeah, that works really nicely into a stun, actually. Stun him. Go in for the bite. Go for that. Then back away. Go for a heal. And then... Blood Spear! <laughs> I love the Blood Spear just as they're diving. That entertains me a lot. And that is some more medicine I can put together. Good. So cut around the outside of here. Get myself a very small handful of XP. Now, Richard needs to be found. But we have a clue for him. He is found around the churchyard around the back. Potentially doing himself a bit of... Oh. Hello. Are you the person I'm looking for? Richard Nithercott. Oh, yeah, that's going to be the poet then. Gotcha. Now let's get to why we're actually here, Mr. Nithercott. You apparently go and visit the little house where Dorothy's hanging out. May I ask you a few questions about the district? Extraordinary part of town, is it not? I'll be glad to help you, if I can. Okay, yeah, let's start with Dorothy. I'm looking for Dorothy Crane, a nurse who lives in this vicinity. Dorothy Crane. Oh, I love the name. The Crane of Whitechapel. Sounds very mysterious. But, sorry, no, never heard of her. Alright, what about the guy whose house she works from? What can you tell me about an old man called Darius? Darius Petrescu? Yes, I know him. At first, I thought he was only a small publisher. I invited him to publish my work, but his reaction was pretty clear. Not interested in your talent? Darius is an old political activist who takes delight in printing tracts and lampoons. Those communist activities only require mediocre writing skills. Okay. Interesting. So he's got a little printing press or something at the back there. Right. That's probably all we need from you, I think. And we should also be close by to a post box where, yeah, there was a letter dropped in. Somewhere around here. This door's now unlocked. Hello. You are... Ah! Camellia! You... Yeah, this guy is actually writing poetry about you. You're his muse or whatever. Alright, well I may as well say hello. Also, what is this? Why is it flashing like I want to interact with it? Small bouquet of flowers with a voucher for free medical checkup hidden between the flowers. Same one we've already seen. Gotcha. And, ah! Did you just put that there? Hang on. Let's just check here. Yeah, there she goes. She just put that. Is that the same thing? Yeah. Alright. Now what's your deal? Because you have got a connection to this place that we weren't expecting. So yeah, two things we know about her. Because we heard him reading poetry about this woman, we can actually challenge her about that. Tell me about Richard Nithercott. I understand he is quite fond of you. I think Camellia cannot speak, because if she could, then presumably she'd be forced to by my little vampire woobly speech. I know you understand what I'm saying. Your silence has nothing to do with you being mute, does it? Hmm, no response at all. At any chance you're willing to respond to the Nurse Crane business? Camellia, I know you work for Dorothy Crane. Please, tell me about her secret dispensary. No, not a word. Mm. Fine. A stubborn and mute comrade. Nurse Crane and Darius Petrescu have been clever. Well, we do have a mailbox right here. And if he tore up the letter... Yep, there we go. Logically, right in the bin next to it. Just a letter to his grown-up children back in Romania confirming he's not coming home, but he couldn't bear to send it. Interesting. The content of Darius' letter to his children could give me more leverage to enter. Darius is a bit less of a mystery now. It should not be that difficult to incite him to let me in. Alright, so we should be in good shape there. Any of the mysteries around here I want to look into? I love this about this game, by the way. There's just mysteries all over the shop. People relating to people and all sorts of little mysteries you can dig into. And people, if you decide they're actually awful people, you can just, you know, if you want to, just eat them. Because why not? So, as the game says, let's see if we can use all this information to blag our way inside the house. Mr. Petrescu, just one minute, please. You again. Go away. No, no, no. Ooh. 
Mesmerize level 2 required, so if I'd actually got my Mesmerize up, still not sure how you do that, but whatever. Yeah, potentially I could have actually skipped all of this, but instead, let's use the information I've gathered. Sir, wait. Stop this nonsense. I know Nurse Crane is here. Shall we speak man to man, you and I? <laughs> all right. Speak up. Don't you see we're on the same side? We fight to help the poor, sick, and abandoned. I'm nothing like you, Mr. Doctor. Yes, you are. You too believe in providing medical care without charge. You know what we have to sacrifice to make the world a better place. I have to admit your words have conviction. All right, I'll let you see, Dorothea. Don't make me regret this, though. It does kind of feel like what we just said had absolutely nothing to do with any of the evidence we gathered. Like, we knew he was running the clinic already because we saw it. The moment we saw Dorothy for the first time, we just said, Hey, Dorothy! I now know you're doing that, so you may as well come and speak to me. All right, Dorothy, me and you need to have a chat about some ludicrously elaborate blackmail plot I still don't fully understand. Now, where are you? And we have got ourselves other people we don't know up there. Some of these people technically don't exist. Ah, there's Dorothy Crane. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Right. By any chance, are you... Oh, yeah, you've covered his mouth. What do we have here, nurse? Patient Raz Van Vassily. High fever running on three days. Complaints of dizziness, muscle aches, head pain, diagnosed with influenza. Treatment? Aspirin and Salicin for the fever and discomfort. Liquids for dehydration, but he's having trouble keeping even water down. Okay. Intriguing. Anything else I need to know, nurse? Thank you, nurse. Anything else I should know? He did lose consciousness this morning, but he's never had convulsions like these. <coughs> he's not convulsing, he's choking. He's not getting any air. Scalp! Hand me that scalp! <laughs> What can I do, Doctor? I must perform. I, I I don't know. I don't know these things. Okay, if I'm about to slice his throat open, probably make it numb first. It's too dangerous to operate with these convulsions. Sedative, nurse. Do we have any anesthetics? I'm sorry, Doctor. None at all. Apparently, I'm going in anyway. I need to perform a tracheostomy. Short pipe. That rubber tube will do. We're going to cut a passage for air through the neck. Yes, Doctor. I'm really glad we can't see this, by the way. He's breathing again, but he's coughing up blood. Internal hemorrhaging. I need to make another incision into the chest cavity to drain the fluids from the lung. Prepare another tube. A thoracostomy. Doctor, we've nothing to fight the infection. We need an aseptic environment. All right, listen to her. Do you have a suggestion? Right then, Nurse Crane. What do you suggest we do? I've no idea. I'm not the doctor. Time is of the essence. We need to perform a thoracic drain. Yes, doctor. Just keep cutting holes and sticking pipes in him. Sooner or later, I'll have enough holes and enough pipes and he'll be fine. He's still bleeding, doctor. I'm losing his pulse. The drain must have punctured the intercostal artery. There's too much blood. Okay, cut a new hole and put a you pipe in in order to sort out the blood. I, I can't see. Uh-oh. Oh, the blood. I'm vamping out, and she knows. I need to sort out the artery, or just let me finish alone. <laughs> no, I'm probably going to need her help, actually. I must... First, suture the artery. Find the wound. The source of the blood. Needle and thread, Doctor. Good. The stitches are holding. How's he doing? We're losing him. We've lost his pulse. He's dying, Doctor! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Um, uh, I don't... I don't know which of these things is a good idea. This is a difficult question to ask someone who's not actually a doctor. Um, I'm going to go for... Nice relaxing massage! Cardiac massage. Now. Cardiac... What? Are you making this up as you go along? Yes! Absolutely! Do you have a better idea? We'll go with your idea if you do! Oh... 
I probably should have gone for the other thing that sounded like it was an actual drug. Oh dear. I'm sorry, nurse. I did my best. We've lost the pulse. He, he's gone, Doctor. Nurse, we did everything we could. Truly? Everything you could. Is that how you'll report this in your log? Is this how the war went, piling up one poor corpse beside the next? This was not an influenza-induced seizure. I've never seen symptoms like these on the continent. Neither have I. But the previous symptoms leading up to this attack were the same, indistinguishable from the epidemic. No. There was something more vile in these reactions. Something... primitive. There have been numerous reports of mental breakdowns caused by the fever that accompanies the flu itself, Doctor. Yes, but... I'd best take some samples of the blood for analysis. Alright, I wonder if there was any way to save that guy. Possibly, not sure. So, that's a new blood sample for me to analyse back at my lab. But first, me and you need to have a chat. Alright, because you've been running an illegal surgery. I suspect it was more than intuition alone that led you to us. Yes, actually, it was part of a ludicrously elaborate series of black males, tailings, werewolves. There's been a lot of stuff that's happened. I'm not really sure how you're tied to any of it, to be honest. I've come to stop the blackmail, but I've no real reason to assume you'd be behind it. I've come to put an end to this insufferable blackmailing, Dorothy. Doctor, you think your warnings scare me? I've stolen and plied, blackmailed and lied, but what else am I to do? I'm all these people have. Right, so she did do it. And the reason she did it was just to get money to fund this surgery, but I'm not sure how we'd possibly have figured that out from the evidence that was presented to us during the investigation. <laughs> Alright, this is all very peculiar. But why Lady Asprey? Why her, of all people? She's pristine and proper, alright. But that she-wolf in sheep's clothing murders the poor for sport. I have her where she belongs, and I'll milk her for all she's got. Okay, so you think you're going after her because she's a monster, though you don't seem to know she's a vampire, you just think she likes killing people in a particularly bloody manner. Gotcha. You've convinced me of the sincerity of your actions and their noble justifications. But all the same, blackmail is a crime, and it will stop Nurse Crane. So, are you going to turn me over to the authorities? Oh. Oh dear. Right. Hmm, so, kill her for a ton of XP, I look away, but she disappears from the game, or, charm, you'll forget all about this. And I'm assuming that I can do that because I've unlocked enough information about her. So go on then, we're gonna carry on, and I'm just gonna, like, make you forget it or something. Listen very carefully, Dorothy. You will erase from your memory everything you pretend to know about Lady Ashbury and Pembroke Hospital. Let that rich bitch off the hook over my dead Nurse body. Nurse Crane, enough. Listen as if your life depended on every word. I know you have a generous heart who gives freely to those in need, but you shall walk away from the shadier streets of your business. I will never abandon- Dorothy, the discussion has come to a close. Your clandestine activities and the resistance are over. Let it go. I'll... I'll let it... Go. Yes. All gone. Right. Intriguing. And that has got my mesmerized level up. And as a result, the district will suffer the consequences. So, I think what I just did was I basically said to her, she's not allowed to do this anymore, but she'll keep being a nurse at the hospital. Whereas previously, if I'd spared her, but then we'd also... Locked, right. Yeah, if we'd also overlooked and spared her, she'd keep working here, but she'd... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Right, um, bad, bad things. Bad things. Hello? Why did you come in here and start murdering everybody? Why? Why would you do that? Okay, hang on. Blood power and back away from the grenade. Whatever it was. Alright, over here. 
And no, I do not have the blood magic. Right, let him shoot again. Right, and now up to you. Over to you. Boom, boom, dead. Why exactly would you attack a hospital? I mean, well, the guy upstairs probably was a vampire. Okay, fair enough. Good call. But yeah, we just had to have a choice between either killing her or forcing her to work in one place or the other. But in which case, I probably should have actually gone for... Also, is that note going to completely recontextualize everything? Okay, good. It doesn't. It's her sister who naffed off back to Romania to help out with the revolution. So yeah, I've basically forced her, pretty much against her will, but then, yeah, that would have happened in either case, to uh, come and work at the hospital and abandon this place. But this place kind of needed her more. Probably what I should have done is, yeah, because the situation here is serious. Also, hello! Would you, buddy, chance in a minute like to have yourself a... Hey, boom! Hello! You guys were waiting for me, weren't you? Yes. Yes, you were. Right. Back away from you. And... Oh, I need someone to bite. Right. Back, and then go, and then go. Oh, yeah. Now, with my new upgraded thing, I can get myself some blood. Avoid. And get in there. Get in there. No. Watch out for that. Avoid you. There we go. Get in there again. Give him another bite. And then probably we'll be okay to just actually toss a blood spear at him. And then... Oh, another blood spear. Blood spear! Gets both of them. Nice, nice, nice. And dead. Okay. That works pretty nicely. I like the resistances, having to work around the resistances. It keeps the fights pretty fresh. I like it. It's good. So, time for a quick sprint. How much faster going out than coming in? Because all these gates can now be unlocked from the far side, opening up a bunch of shortcuts. Whoever left these marks did so deliberately. Is someone trying to get my attention by any chance? Alright. Yeah, thought so. This was a deliberate trap. Right, okay. Just quickly deal with you. So you, my good man, yeah, we need blood magic for you, perfect world. Deal with you. Oh, dear. Yeah, now get a bite in. I'm going to need blood magic to deal with this guy. And go. Now, problem is, there's bloody two of them. And they seem resistant to their own things, right? Double blood spear. or oh, triple blood spear would be even better, my... Oh, there's bloody four of them, right? That's good right there, though. Right, start finishing some of these guys off. Uh, so that's a few of... You're almost dead. Okay, watch watch your health, though. Watch your health and go for the... Get the blood in. Get the blood in. Get the blood in. One more will get the blood back. Then I can heal up if I need to. Right, so you go down. In fact, you know what? Let's just finish off you because you're one of the tough ones. One more hit will take care of you. You're one of the little light lads. Let's just quickly get you. All right, just just a blood spear for the pair of you. And... Oh, good. Wow. Good grenade. Well done. What about you, by the way? Are you... Hang on. Which one are you? You're not Toby Sheen. Where's Toby Sheen? Right, he's the guy over there. Right, quickly. Pop up the health. Now get up top. We can get around him like this. There we go. And... Boom. No, that is not what I wanted you to do. Right, luckily, he is not particularly resistant to melee. So I can just melee him pretty easy, actually. Now just keep your distance. And boom. He tried to do something to me. Right, get in there on top of him. That staggers him. Dead. And one more. Possibly the little guys were just regenerating. You know what? I won't mind getting a bit of blood back off you, actually. So just get the blood. And then that should kill him. Nice. Anyone else? Alright. Survive the ambush. Good. <laughs> That's cool. They've started to lay ambushes for me. Now, 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 now. Ignore all of you people for the time being. Where is the other person you'd speak to? The woman who thinks she's a vampire. There she is. Thelma. Right, Thelma. Good news. I've killed the vampire hunters. But you're not actually a vampire, but I've done it anyway. I have made inquiries about the men who were tracking you, Miss Howcroft. I did not expect a mortal to have this sort of courage. Speak, Doctor. Why are they hunting me down? And actually, I can't tell her the truth. A misunderstanding. Yeah, it was just a big old misunderstanding. It was a misunderstanding. These hunters were in fact looking for a very different creature. But they mistakenly put their sights on you. I knew it. I have become undone. Those hunters have discovered me. 
but they don't know what I'm capable of. If you'll accept some advice from a petty mortal, I think you should assume a low profile and just quietly disappear into the shadows. You are right. And you have served me well, mortal. Take this as a reward for your time. Perhaps I will allow you to drink deep of my blood. One day. Thank you. I'll keep that proposition in mind. Well, she did just offer. She did indeed just offer there. 1,750. That's quite a lot of XP I could be having off her. And she did just say I could. I mean, is it really that bad? Okay, I won't. Ah, but here's something interesting. My little flashy vision is indicating something's going on round the back with Mortimer and his slightly suspicious mother. How can I be sure I'll not find your unconscious body in the house again? I promise you, you'll not find my unconscious body. For God's sake, how can you say such a thing? How can you refuse to listen? I tried to warn you for so long. No, I won't let my only son die. You promised me you'll stay alive. Your son lied to you. Like the whole world lies to us. Okay, so it sounds like he actually attempted to kill himself, which would also be why he doesn't want to talk about it. So, let's go and have a chat to him. And yes, indeed, there it is. You tried to kill yourself, Mortimer. Any chance you want to talk about it? Admit it, Mortimer. Your mother had you hospitalised here because you tried to kill yourself. Yes, it's true. All right, then. This is the first time we've really shared information about your case. Shall we call this progress? Call it what you want, Dr. Reed. Okay, so we don't know much about him yet. There's still a lot to learn. And yeah, I'm definitely not mesmerizing and killing him. Uh, yeah, okay. More to learn yet, though. More to learn yet. It seems like, yeah, these characters... You unlock more and more information as time goes by. You just slowly unlock bits of their lives until you can finally get the full picture. Right, back to Lady Ashbury though. Let's give her the update here. Uh-oh. Right, so she was guilty of drinking the patient's blood after all. Right. I would ask you to avert your eyes, sir. Or did you not know it was rude to stare? I knew it. Speak up, Dr. Reed. I like a man who speaks his mind. Right. So, she never actually denied it in the first place. So, yeah. Compassion, sure, but actually, the nurse who was blackmailing you was 100% right. You were actually killing people. Hiding your true appetites behind a facade of compassion. Bravo. Very clever indeed. Spare me your sarcasm, Jonathan. You are but newly born in this world. All right, we're vampires, no need to apologize. Yeah, so the accusation was completely true. So in the end, the accusation was true, wasn't it? The situation is somewhat awkward nonetheless. I have not been observed sustaining myself for many decades. I have to say, I'm a trifle embarrassed. Anyway, I have concluded my inquiries concerning your blackmailer. I see. Please excuse my agitated state. Under normal circumstances, I wouldn't let anyone see me in this condition. The case is closed, your ladyship. The person who took advantage of you has, shall we say, seen the error of her ways. So who was it? My lady. The blackmailer was dealt with using the utmost discretion. The culprit's identity is of no relevance. Thank you, Jonathan. That is exactly what I needed from you. You have proven your loyalty, so... As a friend, please accept this small token of my appreciation. Thank you, my lady. If you have an inclination to learn more about vampires or your current situation... I will be glad to aid you in your quest for knowledge. So yes indeed, the big question, does Swansea know about this? Why does Dr. Swansea allow you to feed on the patients of the hospital? Dr. Swansea is a good and compassionate man. He is trying to find a solution for our... hunger. 
Until that happens, he is clever enough to understand that I only feed upon the dying. Okay, that's maybe not quite so bad, but still pretty bad. And the important one, do you know who attacked me in the first place? Do you know any of them? Have you an idea of the identity of the vampire who attacked me? You mean your maker? No, Jonathan, I have no clue. But I fear he or she is as careless as cruel. To let you discover your new condition by yourself. What do you mean? Every now and then, you may discover an immortal in the deep of the night. But we are a rare and reclusive breed. Our progeny is almost never accidental. Okay, so whoever this is, they sort of broke vampire etiquettes. I must quickly analyse the blood I took from Nurse Crane's patient. Alright, time to find out what's going on there, whether it's a new or slightly different variation of vampirism. So, one blood sample, give it a scan. And that opens up light stamina serum. Okay, useful. So, health, stamina and blood. I've now got serums for all of the above. Razvan Vasily was infected by Spanish flu, but also has the highly unstable blood of the Skulls. Is the London vampire epidemic transmitted through the flu? I should talk to Dr. Swansea about it. All right, so now we could go and have a conversation with him. Lovely. But before we do that, I feel like we could probably do some upgrades. Yeah, you know what? I am enjoying Blood Spear. Blood Spear is rather nice and powerful. Let's go for some of that. So it costs less and does more damage. Nice. And I can just afford a tiny bit more health as well. Seems like a good idea. Ah, slight problem. So Whitechapel, having actually just lost its main nurse and secret clinic. Oh, things, things have gone wrong. Yeah, that place has gone down from serious to critical. Because she used to be a flipping pillar of the community and she's naffed off. Oh dear. And that has led to, yeah, the press reporting on it. Merchants are charging more money. Is everyone also getting sick as a result of that? Because I don't think you used to be as sick as this. Okay, people have got sick. And in general, it seems kind of bad. Because I have indeed managed to, uh, yeah, pretty much get rid of a pillar of the community. Oh dear. Right, Swansea. What's next up on the big list of things to do? I have some rather bad news. Yes? I'm afraid it's your sister. My sister? She's to be buried this evening at Whitechapel Cemetery. Your mother published the obituary this morning. I see. I'm sorry, Jonathan. Please accept my condolences. Okay, and apparently I need to attend Mary's funeral. Question is, am I going to do that in disguise or something? Because if my mother knows I've died, that would be awkward. And if she doesn't, the fact that I am, you know, now a vampire will also be awkward. So this is going to be, you know, a bit of a... Bit of an unusual family gathering one way or another. Oh, go on then, ladies and gentlemen. One more part, because I'm curious to see what actually goes on there. I'm going to go to the funeral and see what we can figure out at the funeral. So, that will be coming up tomorrow. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been Many a True Nerd, and this has been Vampire. Thank you very much, and goodbye. No, sadly, I cannot be the Santa Claus of murder tonight. So apparently, even though this thing is... Oh, no, no, you can't. No, you most certainly can't. Okay. Is that the symbol meaning I'm about to pull her over? Yep, there we are. There we... Oh. I feel like she didn't necessarily survive that. No, she's very dead.